Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 guru coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas, fulfilling another explication request. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel, but the best paid supplement is a Kaplan QBank if you don't already have one. Uh, I highly recommend the QBank and the Quick Sheets with my 10% discount code GURU10 at checkout. You can bring in the QBank for about a little under 60, I believe and the quick sheets for a little under 20. Uh, now that I've given you that Kaplan commercial, Kaplan uh, allows me to show you, give you a free look on their content. And so that's what we're going to do here. This is QID 1283048. An investor opens the following positions. So this investor is either going to be doing an opening purchase or opening sales, or maybe a buy and a sell. Maybe it's a net. And we'll see. Uh, buy one... Bob, January 60, call at four. So when you hear the word buy, long, owner, holder, you should be able to say, okay, that's a choice. This is a call contract. So this is a choice to buy BOB anytime between now and January. That's important, American style, at $60 a share. And for that choice, or right, I paid four. And I buy one. BOB January 55 put at two and a half. And that is a choice to sell the stock at the strike price. If you're not struggling with contract specifications, in other words, you're not struggling that that's a choice to sell the stock at the strike price. And you can track money, you're in pretty good shape. Now, uh, you always need to be identify the position before you do anything, because otherwise you're not going to know what to bring to uh, you know bear on the question. So this is a straddle with different strike prices. Remember, straddle is one year long, two different type of option contracts or short two different types. Here we're long two different types, but the strikes are different. And that's what makes it a combination. And the four things you got to be able to do is identify it. We've identified this now as a straddle with different strike prices, a combination. You've got to be able to calculate the break evens. There's going to be two. And we have to be able to determine where it's profitable. Where do we want the market price of Bob to be? In relationship to the break evens, we have a great mnemonic silo, short inside, long outside. And then when do we use this? All right, so let's see what they want to know. What is the investor's maximum gain? Well, remember here, let me make my T there to track my money in and out. I like to use dollars out, dollars in. Some people like to use pluses or minuses. So I'm out four points for that uh, put, and I'm out uh, two and a half points. Uh, for that uh, put out four points for the call two and a half for the put so ultimately I'm out of pocket six and a half now uh, please remember we have a long call there and when we have a long call our maximum gain is unlimited All right we have a choice to call the stock away at 60. So as long as I cover up my out-of-pocket cost, six and a half, I'm buying volatility. Volatility is my friend. I need it. In all these speculative strategies, you're either buying volatility or you're selling volatility. You shouldn't be struggling that when you buy an option position, the worst case, you're going to lose your money. So the worst case, I'm going to lose $650 here, six and a half points. I like to do it on a per share basis. But remember, that would be times, you know, times one times 100. And so the maximum loss here is $650. This is put that there. It looks like I'm running out of room. Let's put it here. Okay, so we got that part done. Uh, break even, call up, put down. So the way I get break evens is I'm gonna take strike price plus total premium. And that's going to equal my upside break even. And I'm going to take strike price minus total premium. Follow up, put down. To get my downside break even. You know, straddles or combinations are the only uh, position where you actually have two break evens. And then, so that's going to be my downside break even. 
By the way, if you get good at the uh, T, you don't need to memorize the break evens because you could just say, well, okay, well, I have a choice here to uh, buy the stock at uh, 60. And so if I do that, ultimately, I need a number that would make the columns balance, which is 66 and a half. So, you know, once you get good at tracking money and contract specification, you don't need to memorize a bunch of stuff. But if we take the strike price, let's get a different color here. Strike price, call up. You know, I got to be careful now because remember the strike prices are different. So it's going to be strike price plus six and a half. Get my upside break even. And it's going to be strike price. And be careful here. The strike price here is 55. So I need six and a half points up or six and a half points down from the strike, up from the strike or down from the strike to break even. And my arithmetic is terrible, so I'm going to get my calculator. Uh, by the way, I wouldn't actually be doing break-evens because I told you I'd be tracking the money. What I mean by that, let me show you that in just a sec. Let me finish this up. 55. By the way, break-evens always expressed as a per share number. So that's going to be 48 and a half is my down bright side break-even. So now we have that. Our upside is 66 and a half. And our downside break even. Let me get uh, smaller so I can fit it there. And that's going to be 48 and a half is our downside. Now I could also illustrate that again. If you get good at the uh, T, you could say, okay, well, if I exercise my choice to sell the stock at 55, Right. Ultimately, remember, I need a number over here that makes the columns balance. Because that's what break even is, same dollars out as dollars in. I'm just illustrating that, you know, that would make it work, right? So, so remember, you're going to have an answer set. You could kind of mumble, muddle your way through here. But now I just say, okay, well, if I uh, buy the stock at 48 and a half and I stick it to somebody at 55, indeed, I would cover my out-of-pocket costs. So I'm just uh, showing you that indeed that is the break-even, right? Again, terrible arithmetic, 48.5 is what I buy the stock at. And I stick it to somebody at 55. Indeed, I uh, break even. So I'm just illustrating that set to it. Okay, so we said there are four things you have to be able to do. Let's just review. The four things you have to be able to do is identify a straddle or a straddle with different strike prices. This is a combination. We said the second thing you got to be able to do is calculate break-evens. There's going to be two. You have to determine where it's profitable. Short, you want the market price in between the two break-evens, long outside, great memory aid device, silo. And then when do you use it? Here, you're expecting volatility, but direction's uncertain. So here, we're looking at a choice or uh, right to buy the stock at uh, 60. We're looking at a choice or right to sell the stock at 55. Our maximum gain is unlimited because we have a long call, right? That leg has unlimited uh, gain potential. Our maximum loss is what we paid for the position, which is six and a half. Six and a half points are $650. By the way, on the test, they won't give you the choice between both the points and the, you know, the 600 would be one or the other. So maximum loss is $650. We have two break-evens. We have our upside break-even. We have our downside break-even. Uh, strike price plus total premium. Our upside break-even is 66 and a half. Our downside break-even is 48 and a half. And then again, you might want to just make a little note to yourself where we want this to be in relationship to the break-even, right? We want it above 66 and a half or below 48 and a half to cover out our pocket cost and start to make some money. Nobody does things to uh, break-even. So we can use silo for that. I'll, I'll link to my advanced option strategy where I show you this graphically, visually, as well as walk it through. So I'll put that in the uh, video description and I'll also pin it, uh, put it in a pinned comment for you. All right, then I'm just illustrating the break-evens here for you. I'm just showing you that indeed, if we uh, buy the stock at 48 and stick to somebody, that makes it balance, right? So I just illustrated the break-evens to you. All right, well, remember inch by inch, your series seven is a cinch, yard by yard, your series seven is hard and I'll see you for the next explication request. Bye-bye.